Welcome to the channel and welcome aboard the Blind Date, my 1991 130 sailboat. I've had it for 20 years and uh, we're going to change the impeller today. And we only need a ratchet, a 12 millimeter socket and a 7 millimeter socket. And I have an OEM impeller and I'll put the information for this impeller up on the screen and a paper gasket for the impeller. Now, on the 2GM20F, which is what I have, the F designates that it is not only cooled by seawater, but also by fresh water in the exchanger. The first thing to do for this project is to close the through hole that allows the seawater into your engine. So you want to close that seacock so you don't end up uh, having water flood when you are taking the plate off the uh, impeller housing. So that's the first thing to do, and let's get started. Okay, you want to close that seacock that allows the seawater into the engine. And mine is back here in the aft compartment. And now the seacock's closed. And the pump and the impeller is right behind this pulley right here so we have to take the pulley off and that's just two bolts these two right here and I'm going to mark right here where that bolt is because on that slide is how you adjust the tension for the belt that way I get the tension back the way it was before I took it off now we just have to loosen up these two 12 millimeter bolts There's a bolt and a washer. Get the belt off. Now with mine, the raw water hose is long enough that I really don't think I have to take it off in order to get to it. It might make it a little easier because I've got a little bit of a twist on it to try to get it off. I think I will take that hose off and there's going to be some water, some seawater left in that hose when I get it off. I use this to try to catch the water. Just one C-clamp. For mine, you really don't have to take this hose off, but it will make it a little easier. Put this up here. So it's not dripping. So we just have to get this plate off and then we'll be able to get the impeller out. Okay, I'm now using a seven millimeter socket to get the plate off and there are eight small bolts holding the plate on. One thing you want to make sure you do is not lose the key. There's a small little key in here that keeps the impeller in place. The impeller has a little groove for that key and you don't want to lose that. Probably the hardest part of this project is pulling the impeller out. It's pretty tight in there. I'm sure they have a special tool to pull the impeller. I just need use uh, I just use needle nose pliers. So you can see there is the impeller. 
and this is the paper gasket and the gaskets kind of starting to disintegrate probably have to scrape that off it may not come off in one piece and then we'll pull the impeller and right here where that little slot is there's a little key okay, I'm just going to use a little flathead screwdriver to get this paper off maybe if we get it started it will come off in one piece okay I'm just going to use a scotch they call a scratchless pad and just clean this up a little bit it looks pretty good there's really no corrosion built up on the surface pretty good. A little bit of the gasket still on. Looks pretty good. Now the fun part of getting the impeller out and making sure you don't lose the key. Alright, so uh, I'm going to pull a little bit on the fin on each side. Try to start working it loose. And it will slowly but surely start to work its way out. It takes some work. <laughs> and like I said, I'm sure there's a tool for this. But I don't have it. Uh, and so just pulling a little bit on the fins. Going around. And it's starting to come. We're almost there. I can feel it. There we go. And this is the impeller. And you can see the little keyhole where the key goes. And I don't really see any rot or cracks in it. It's in pretty good shape. How often you should change these, I can't say, but I would definitely inspect it every you know year or two. So now the key is still in place, not lost the key, there's a little bit of debris in here. I'm going to clean that out, make sure that I have the surface nice and clean before I put the paper gasket on. Oh, it looks pretty good. And we just need to get the uh, get the new impeller in there, which will take a little bit of work. Okay, I have the new impeller and the new gasket, and it'll be obvious to you how the gasket goes on because of the shape of it. Before we put the gasket on. I'm going to put the new impeller in because it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get it in. And this is a Yanmar OEM impeller. I think somebody else makes impellers as well. But I get the Yanmar impeller. You got to get the key lined up. Some people put uh, or suggest putting dish soap to make it go in a little easier. I have done that before, 
but I really don't think it's necessary. It'll go in easier than it comes out, that's for sure. So we've got it in. And then in terms of which way the fins go, when you turn it, all the fins will orientate the correct way. Make sure you get it all the way down. Right now we'll put the paper gasket on. And now we just need to put these uh, six bolts back in. All right, seem pretty good and tight. I don't want to strip them out. Now we'll reattach the raw water hose. Okay, put the hose back on there. Now I just have to tighten up the clamp, hose clamp. We have to get the belt back on. Make sure that you have it back in the right place. Okay. Now we just have the two bolts to put back in. Tighten them up. I'm going to use this screwdriver to get some leverage so I can tighten it back in the place that I want it. That's good. Now I want to start it up and check it for leaks. Make sure there's not any leaks in the hose that I took off and put back on. And make sure that uh, there's no leak at the gasket. And that the belt is not too tight. Before I do that I need to open up the through hole. So I'm going to open up that seacock to allow the seawater to come in. run for a few minutes to check the leaks. I want to go outside and check and make sure that it's pumping water out. It's looking good, pumping well. Beautiful day out. A little bit of sun left. I might be able to get a little bit of paddle boarding in. All right, let's check it out. It's pumping the water well. 
and it's all dry. And then check the hose where I reattached. Hey, we got it done. And we got a little bit of sunlight left. I hope that was helpful. I hope that uh, you change your own impeller. It's not very difficult. If, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Believe me. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please like the video. That helps me grow the channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.